hi sweeties how are you doing welcome to naya sim if this is your first time of coming across this channel so can kindly smash that subscribe button and turn your notification so you are notified each time i upload and please give this video a thumb up i appreciate you all so much and i am saying a very big shout out to every one of you for the love the support you are showing me here with i am grateful and you all are super sweet so today we'll be talking something very important and it's a video that is making wave on tiktok and it's about a black man actually accusing black women of being jealous of Taylor Swift for dating another man and all that. That black women are always ready to desist against white women. And I am asking, like, you know, when, how, how are black people, like, you know, when did they or how can they be ready to desist to, like, you know, is that even possible? That is not possible. If you are talking about prejudice, I can understand, but the truth is that it's just crazy how you all look for a way to drag black women into your discussions and think it's okay and then you have a particular demo demograph like you know like he has a certain kind of people he does his video for which are white women so all he does is shit on black women just to elevate white women and they're all in the comment section screaming oh you're right on do this do that and all that you think that it's okay you think that it's cool accusing black women for nothing like nothing they know for just existing a lot of people actually came out to answer him because this is a lot i love to see this kind of video because when you see someone that is not like you know okay you will know because he doesn't look okay i mean physically he looks okay but mentally i don't think he's okay because for him to come out with this kind of discussion i guess i guess his own is something i really do not understand I am going to roll this clip. We'll come back to talk about it. And I absolutely want to read all your comments. Let me know what you all think in the comment section. So straight up, let's get into it. All right, so today we're going to talk about Travis Cousin, his new girlfriend, Taylor Swift. Now, I have seen nothing but bashing since he popped out with his new girl. I honestly don't see a problem with it. But you want to know who does? Black women. I have not seen anyone else besides the black women say he downgraded or he could do better. Oh, she looks nothing like her. Oh, she has no butt. She has no body. This and that. And my thing is, it's like, wow, Travis Kelsey, a Caucasian male, can't date his own race. Black women hate when a black man or a man that they find attractive dates white women. You want to know why they think that, though? It's because they're low-key racist. Black women think just because they're black that they are superior to every other race. They think they are superior to every other race just because they're black. And that is racist. When black women date outside their race, we don't say nothing. We don't sit here and try to compare races, bodies, nothing. We don't sit here and say, oh, she's not dating a brother. Oh, she, she, she's not, she's not winning in life. We, we're not going to sit here and down talk another race. Women get on the internet and talk about body positivity, feminism, but they're sitting here bashing Taylor Swift and comparing her body to another woman. Down talking Taylor Swift's body. Not only are they racist, they also body shame. And this is another reason why a lot of y'all aren't happy. Y'all are more worried about looking like a good woman than actually being a good woman. Taylor Swift could be making this man happy. They have been dating. This is not, this is nothing new. They didn't just start dating yesterday. They've been dating probably for the past year or two. Who knows? But you guys will sit here and compare the wrong things. Taylor Swift could be a great woman. His ex probably wasn't. What's wrong with him dating the woman he's dating right now? But this right here, comparing bodies. Putting a ruler next to Taylor Swift's butt? Come on, bro, that's lame. All right, so today we're gonna talk about Travis Cousin and his new girlfriend. Uh, no, we not. We gonna talk about the fact that you as a black man in 2023 got on the internet and loudly professed that you don't know the definition of racism and or the difference between racism or prejudice. We gonna talk about the fact that your black uneducated ass decided to loudly get on the internet and project your fucking mommy issues onto an entire demographic of women who probably want nothing to do with you. We're gonna talk about the fact that all you do on your whole fucking page, I look, is talk about all the shit that's wrong with women and nothing about anything fucking useful. We're gonna talk about the fact that you were fucking incel. That's what we're gonna talk about. We're gonna talk about the fact that this little video you got on the internet and made is nothing more than you giving us the reasons why do you think that it's okay to have bad behavior toward black women? That's what we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about the fact that you need to go to fucking therapy. 
Yeah, that's what we're going to talk about. What is it with you in sales? Why do y'all all do this? Y'all make like 30,000 videos about everything is wrong with women. And then you post a video of yourself in the gym out of nowhere, right? To receive validation and attention from men. You don't know the first thing about women. Black or white. I'm going to let you in on a little secret. Taylor Swift ain't going to never date a man that look like you. You know why? Because all she dated is racist people. Travis Kelsey, the only one that's not racist. And I bet you it ain't going to last. Because she racist too. Taylor Swift is a manipulative piece of shit. She deserves to be made fun of. But since we're talking about making fun of Taylor Swift, guess who holds the record in doing that? Motherfuckers that look like you. So we just forgot that Kanye West was the first one that openly, openly abused Taylor Swift. We just, no? Okay. You talk a lot of shit. For a guy that probably got his feelings hurt in like third grade by a black girl. And now you just upset for the rest of your fucking life with every black woman. Go to therapy. Just go to therapy. It's that simple. It's because they're low key racist. Black women think just because they're black. Am I a bit scared to respond? Yes. But you know what? I'm so done. I'm so done because all of the dangerous remarks, opinions, assumptions, thoughts that are coming out of his mouth are absurd. And if we're going to speak about historical context, statistics, and factually proven data, he just totally omitted all of that. All of it. But I will give it to y'all. Let's be so for real. This event he used as a catalyst to further expand upon and communicate to other people the mental rhetoric and the way he portrays, no, in the way he views the portrayal of black women in society. That's why he's using this event because it's deeper than this whole Travis Kelsey thing. It's deeper. And that's what I want to speak about. You need to read a book called Brainwash, Challenging the Myth of Black Inferiority to further dive deep and research the own mental complex that you have in your head. Now we'll get into the facts. Number one, black women are low-key racist, is what he said. When we look at movements in America, movements that are in support of equality, for the integration of better social treatment of all American people, the leaders of those movements are black women. So just based off that fact, completely, completely dismisses this opinion that he has, but I'll give you more. When we look at the statistics in regards to marriage success rates, 44% of interracial relationships that include black women are more likely to succeed than any other marriage in America. That is not possible if, in your opinion, the majority of that group of people are low-key racist. Now, when it comes to body positivity and, you know, supporting women, women as a whole need to address that but that's women's business it's not a man's business okay thank you but for you to just single out and pick out black women even though you're black tells me all i need to know but for example most black women speaking on this travis kelsey kayla nicole taylor swift comparison drama um they're saying that based off of travis kelsey's past rapport of dating black women they are shocked he's now dating a white woman is it bad that he's now dating a white woman no and no one said it is i haven't seen anyone say downgrade upgrade none of that if it comes to any point of comparison, they're comparing a black woman's features to a white woman's features and they're not saying one's more negative or one's more positive. They're just saying what he's usually dated is completely opposite of what he's dating now. And that's that's but that's not an issue. That's not an issue. They're just saying, wow, well, wow, like that's a bit surprising based off his past rapport. What really solidifies the remarks that are coming out of your mouth are abhorrent in regards to generalizing all black women is that the people within the comments supporting you and giving you praises are women who are not black and um, are also black men who view the same remarks as you. That says a lot because all the black women in the comments are coming to our defense because it honestly sounds ludicrous. To further solidify the claims that are coming out your mouth that are um, factually inaccurate and honestly just biased, which is very surprising. Um, 
you say that we're more obsessed with looking good than being good, even though we're at the front of most social justice movements, being the biggest advocates, even though when it comes to marriage success rates, we have one of the highest. Um, when it comes to being ambitious and to factually prove that we are the most educated group in America. And honestly, the more educated you are, the more empathy you build up and empathy coexists with being a good person but you didn't even bother to look at any statistics of the members within your community and who are supposed to be your counterparts so you're getting on here looking a bit um questionable you look a bit questionable so again i encourage that you read that book and um thank you for coming to my TED talk black women think just because they're black that they are superior to every other race. B F F R. We are. Let's keep it above. This pandering for a white acceptance in 2023 by black men, some black men, has to stop. You don't realize when you make videos like this, y'all leave the door wide open for white people to be able to walk in, agree with your foolishness, and down us. And then you do nothing about it because you are the catalyst for it. I can't stand it. Sisters is in the comments defending the sisters and the white women are in the comments like, yeah, you're right. They are racist. They are jealous of us. And, and what's so crazy is, is all of this is literally stemming from something so minute. It is stemming from a Travis Kelsey going from Kayla, the black girl, to now Taylor Swift. And you have came to the conclusion that the videos you have seen from black women mean that black women are jealous of white women. Are you serious? And this is a PSA to white women. There is absolutely nothing about you that makes a black woman wake up in the morning and wish she looks like you. There is absolutely nothing about you. That, that makes her do that. And that is no dig to you. But this is just some truth. Because I realize y'all ain't getting it on here. And I give that everywhere I go. I want black men, some black men, that use their platforms, especially when they got a lot of followers, to stop leaving the door open for people to be able to bash your women. I want you to stop doing that because black women ain't doing that. Not on here they ain't. And let me just say, not the ones I've seen. They're not. And if they are, then maybe you need to block and delete so you don't see that and you see more positivity so you can begin to spew positivity. Because right now, all this pandering for white acceptance, it is literally a symptom of your self-hatred. And y'all plaster that stuff everywhere. It does not matter what you do in life. You need to leave us out of it. That is just all I have to say about it. Like, I can't stand the way y'all leave the door open for them to feel like they got a one up on us. And then to sit up here and say that black women act like they are, um, act like other races are inferior to them. If you knew who you were, baby, you wouldn't even make a statement like that because you would feel superior to everyone for years, for years, hundreds of years, black people have been made to feel inferior. So you goddamn right. You goddamn right I feel superior to everybody who don't share my same skin or my same DNA. You goddamn right. When black women date outside their race, we don't say nothing. We don't sit here and try to compare races, bodies. That's not true. Uh, I have zero cards in this situation. I could give a fuck less about this football player or who uh, Taylor Swift is dating. Uh, but I remember when Serena Williams started dating the dude who uh, found Reddit. Uh, and people did not let up on her. So, uh, you know, this whole shit ain't gonna matter in three days. People aren't gonna care anymore, but, um, you yeah, at least tell the truth. <laughs> that is not how that shit goes down. Black women hate when a black man or a man that they find attractive dates white women. We don't give a fuck! The issue isn't that you're dating outside your race. The issue is that you feel the need to bring down an entire group of people just because you're dating outside your race. And it's not just black men. It be some black women too. I done heard y'all say some outrageous ass shit before. And it's like, it's so stupid because you sitting up here, you saying that you fuck with white women because they don't do this or that. Like, for example, I heard a black man say, oh yeah, I love white women because they don't be wearing weave and shit like that, like black girls. Oh, so you telling me that you're married to your wife and y'all got all them damn mixed babies because... Not because y'all genuinely had a connection, but because she don't have to wear a 30-inch bust down or box braids. I'm so fucking sick of y'all ignorant ass people. Like, why the fuck y'all can't just like whoever the fuck y'all would have like and shut the fuck up? Black women think just because they're black that they are superior to every other. Jesus Christ. Shut the fuck up. Rule of thumb. You're talking about race. These are the people that agree with you. You're probably wrong. Honorable mention. You mentioned black women that she agrees with you. You're probably wrong as well. Was it funny that people were calling Travis Kelsey spicy white then he popped up with Taylor Swift? Yes. The point that people are trying to deny that this is a thing. 
Yes. You jumping at this opportunity to make this dumb ass disingenuous ass take. So old black women think they're superior. Black women low key races. I'm not getting up to do the dance, but you know what you're doing. Or tall, buff, and black. You do not have to panda if you want to get dairy demons. I promise you. Oh, my soul. No one says anything when black women date outside their race. Stop lying, bro. Stop lying. I definitely be talking. When black women date outside their race, we don't say nothing. We don't sit here and try to compare races, bodies. A couple weeks ago, I talked about the way black men like to align themselves with white women to punch down on black women. And black women immediately knew what I was talking about. And although, of course, some black men got it, far too many, pushed back, refused to engage, called me anything but a child of God, and just went on to gaslight black women even further. And just 13 days later, a black man gets on this platform to try to gaslight black women from here to hell. Because we know not only are black women picked apart for their appearance, but they're also threatened with actual violence online and in real life. And none of that is happening with this Taylor Swift, Travis Kelsey situation. And by the way, most of the accounts that are making fun of Taylor Swift's body are run by men. I say this with love in my heart, it is terrifying to watch folks go after black women to try to retain a storyline that enables you to cause black women harm, and I'm afraid. All right, so today we're gonna to talk about Travis Cousin, his new girlfriend, Taylor Swift. Now I have seen- I kind of want to see the tweets and the comments where people are actually complaining about him dating Taylor Swift. I'm hoping and praying that nobody actually gives a fuck, but I mean, you gotta understand he's a public, figure just like when genie and jeezy were dating people just it just is what it is people are going to have their comments and their say so i don't know if anybody actually gives a fuck you know what i'm saying i don't even think his ex-girlfriend gives a fuck like they've been they've been dating other people so that's just fucking weird that he would come on here and try to paint like all black women all black women care about this white man dating a white woman no i think people are just Stating their opinions, I don't think it's this huge thing. And now it's being inflamed and enthralled by other people. And black women are getting just thrown into the mix. When I don't think we care. I, I hope we don't care. His ex-girlfriend was absolutely beautiful and stunning. It didn't work out. And now he's getting to the bag <laughs> with Taylor Swift. And that is okay. Um, I just don't like this, you know, only black women. And, and, oh, God. No. I think now black women know that at the end of the day, it just is what it is. Why are we going to get mad that that's who he chose to be with? I, I don't I don't get the outrage. When black women date outside their race, we don't say nothing. We don't sit here and try to compare races, bodies, nothing. That's a whole ass bullshit ass lie. I've heard, I have heard a bunch of dudes whine nonstop about women who, about black women who date white men. What's the last one that like everyone had to suffer through because dudes wouldn't shut the fuck up about it um whichever williams sister i don't know i don't know which one is which i also don't remember people's names period mm -hmm. my point is when she started dating the, the the white guy which she might still be dating now or married to i don't know dudes couldn't shut the fuck up about it also i don't know who this dude is nor who the other woman is that he was previously dating but he definitely traded down for taylor swift and I'm not saying that because I have an issue against Taylor. I'm saying that because she just seems boring as fuck. And like, you know, if you end up being boring, then I guess that's cool. But like, don't act like, don't act like it's an upgrade. Now again, if you're purely doing this because, well, you want to date someone rich as hell and famous, then sure, I guess. But like, let's, let's not act like Taylor Swift is like the epitome of conversation and again i'm not saying that she's well i am saying that she's boring i personally do think that she's probably mind-numbingly boring but you know she could be very interesting sorry i had to check if from the arm was struck by lightning or a flying ice cream truck my point is this i don't really give a shit but don't sit up here and lie acting like acting like what you said is true because it's not because like come on <laughs> we we all have fairly decent memories let's not act like all of this shit in the past didn't happen also i'm here to say hi my name is ramon trip i want to run for president of the united states with a spite because i'm bored and i think it's funny i bet this dude wants to vote for me now i'm sure he's a big fan of my stuff he seems like he seems like the type of guy that is like really really follows my my um my videos so 
<laughs> you know, be like him. Or vote for me. And if he's not going to vote for me, well, then are you really going to listen to him? He doesn't know what he's talking about. You should definitely vote, vote for me. Anyway, I'm going to go. Bye. But you want to know who does? Black women. I have not seen anyone else besides them. I honestly haven't seen any black women bashing Taylor Swift in comparison to his ex-girlfriend. I haven't seen any women that are upset that he's dating Taylor Swift or that he's downgraded. Most most black women don't care who that football player dates. Most black women don't even know who he is. <laughs> no one cares. He can date whoever he wants to date. Like they're just saying that he usually dates black women and that it's surprising that he would end up in a relationship with Taylor Swift so quickly after she was just in a relationship with that Matt Healy. Is if is he playing a role to get that stigma of her being okay with dating a racist out of everybody's mouths? It's just like it's so strange. And honestly, no one cares if he dates Taylor Swift. Hopefully it's an amazing relationship and they actually like each other. No one cares. It's no no black woman cares. And to go over there and to create a space to where white women and black men feel like they are safe to talk crap about black women is crazy. To create a safe space off of a narrative that's not true. Black women do not care about Taylor Swift and who, who she dates or who some random football player dates. No one actually cares. So this is all I got from the stitches and yeah, I don't know what to say about that. I think I know some people uh especially i don't know what some men these days like they have a specific audience they are targeting especially with black women so they 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 go ahead and make video for a certain demographic and then look for a way to come back to bash black women i don't think black women cares if you all like you know go out or date or anybody you want to date and all that they don't care and it is none of their business. They really do not give a shit about it. But the only time they think they have problem with you all is when you all use your preference that you make them and use them as their preference to your reference. That is where they always have a problem. You know, go ahead and do what you want to do, and nobody cares. But all the time looking for a way to infuse black women into your discussions and all that, you know, shows how crazy you are. And at the same time, turning back to call them right to the season. Is what I don't understand because I don't see how black women can be right to the seas to because they are talking about Taylor Swift and all that. How can how are they even gonna be racist to to to, to her and how are they even being that or prejudice? Which one? Because you cannot come online and say what you are not even sure of. You are trying to accuse somebody and you're still going the wrong way to accuse them and all that. If you want to talk to them and you want to accuse them, accuse them rightly. But calling them right to the bro, uh-uh, don't even try it next time because that is not what they are. Yeah, you heard me right. So stop, uh, I mean, when you go to his comment section, you will see like, you know, he's all in there for uh, white women. I mean, white women are his audience. That they come, yeah, they always sit back and want to compare Taylor Swift to black women. Look at them calling Taylor Swift like, you know, flat ass and who really who did because all i saw there they were all white women talking black women don't care they have a lot of things to focus on instead of coming here to know who is there in a white woman and like how is that even their they in taylor swift and a white man in this how is that even their problem how did you even drop black women into it i mean enough of all this bullshit please and that is on a serious like you know Enough of all this bullshit. This is where I'm going to draw the curtain. Thank you so much for your support. See you all in my next video. Bye for now.